Okay, in this video we're going to set up Eagle um, with the libraries and with an application that will allow you to mill it uh, using the, the um, GCB cutting machine. Uh, first of all, you're going to need Eagle for Mac. You're going to need um, an Adafruit library that will contain all your components. You're also going to need uh, a small utility called PCB G code. Um, I'll put the links on the OLP. Uh, okay, Eagle, you're going to get straight from the Eagle website. Make sure you get it for Mac, or it's not going to work. Um, PCB G code is from a forum um, and the link, and Adafruit is from GitHub. And you can, um, if you just scroll down slightly, uh, don't click on the files themselves, just click there to download the entire zip file. So, if you've done everything correctly, you should have three zip files. Unzip them all, then you can delete the zip files afterwards. You should end up with two folders and a package. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we are going to um, install Eagle. So double click the package, continue, try not to change any of the directories um, because uh, the libraries depend, uh, depend on an exact specific location. So if you do change the directories then you're going to need to make a note of it. Um, for this installation I would lock Eagle in the dock because you are going to have to open it and close it quite a few times in the next uh, three minutes or so. Okay, your libraries um, are found it. when as soon as you open the window you'll get a menu. Um, your libraries is a drop down menu, just have a look. They're libraries containing all components from loads of different shops. However, Adafruit is a more modern shop and has all the components that we use in school. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your um, application of Eagle, uh, you're going to open the folder and in that folder you should see an LBR folder and you're going to drag your Adafruit library, open that up, take the Adafruit LBR file and drag that into the LBR folder in Eagle. Then once you open up Eagle again you should be able to go to libraries You'll see Adafruit there and just check. If you've got the 555, then you know you've installed it correctly. Okay, the next one is the ULPs, uh, user language programs. Um, and what you're going to do here is um, you're going to open up that folder in the Eagle folder. Uh, you're going to go back into your where you downloaded your folders and rename that uh, PCB G code to just G code, under, uh, all uh, lowercase. Drag that entire folder, then um, into your ULP folder, then go to um, go to options directories and just add a uh, forward slash G code for that space. Uh, again, close Eagle, open Eagle. You should now see your libraries and your um, ULPs, your user language programs. Next part is to um, open up projects. Right click on Eagle. Uh, go new folder, uh, call it something, don't call it your name because there's going to be loads of folders in your computer with your name on it, uh, so my first project is always a good one, or my test, um, and then right click that folder, new project, and then call that project, now this could be your 555, so you could call it my 555 project, or a test or whatever, 